So we've worked out that the curve corresponding to this program um, uh, I uh, I against um, the time it so the difference the where I is on the x-axis and the time it takes it to execute is on the y-axis is roughly uh, 260,000 uh, I squared in this case so let's just plot what that um, uh, graph looks like let's change the um what we'll do is we'll set the x range to between naught and the naught and a thousand and plot it again and we get this so let's just have a look at this so when uh i is naught obviously it's naught and when i is a thousand it's roughly 2.5 times 10 to the power 11 2.5 times 10 to the power 11 nanoseconds. Now a nanosecond is 10 to the 9, so 10 to the 11 nanoseconds is in fact 100 seconds. So this is 2.5, that's 2,500 seconds, which is quite a lot. So we can see that this, if we, that this loop uh, but if we let this go up to a thousand, the last time round the loop, it would take uh, 2,500 th two nanoseconds. So, which is, sorry, 2,500 seconds, which is what? Um, uh, 2,400, so that's about uh, 40 minutes. So now let's let's change the range. So that's that's just with i going up to a thousand. Let's let let's make allow i to go up to ten thousand and see what happens. So now if we plot it again, um, we see now when it's when it gets to ten thousand, we've got twenty five two point five times uh, ten to the thirteen nanoseconds. Well, if we subtract thirteen from nine, we get four. So that four is ten thousand. So that's twenty-five, twenty-five, two point five times ten thousand. Uh, that's twenty-five thousand seconds. And if we wanted to work out twenty-five thousand seconds, how long is twenty-five thousand seconds? We can say twenty-five thousand seconds. We, if we divide that by sixty, we get four hundred and sixteen minutes. If we divide 416 by 60, we get about six hours, six and a half hours or something like that. So um, allowing this thing going to go up to 10,000 means that it'll take, the last time around this loop, it'll take uh, six and a half hours just to complete the value for when uh, I gets up to 99, actually. So now let's let's change the range to 10 to a hundred thousand, <coughs> hundred thousand rather than ten thousand, and see what happens. So now, if we plot it, we see when it's a hundred thousand, it's about um, two point five times ten to the power fifteen. Now, ten to the power fifteen is ten to the six, because um, fifteen minus nine is six. That's ten to the six seconds. Uh, 10 to the 6 seconds is a million seconds, so we've got 2.5 million seconds. So if we, how many work, let's work out how many minutes that is. So we need to put three more noughts here. 2.5 million. 2.5 million, that's right. That's that many hours. And 4166. that many minutes, sorry, uh, which is 694 hours and 694 is 28 days, because they're 24 so just going up to 100,000 at this rate it would take about 28 days to finish the last time round the, round the loop so I hope that gives you some idea of what it means for, for something to be quadratic, the relationship between n and the time to be quadratic, that means proportional to n squared. You can see it grows quite fast.